Hello, I would like to thank my project advisor, Professor Concepcion L. Khan and UP Open University faculty and staff for allowing me to do this uh, study, a very interesting study to me, LNG White Writings Search Engine. So I will just go very quickly so that we can go to the demo uh, part. So this, we uh, have the disclaimer, I'm submitting this and it will be an open project. Uh, Ellen G. White writings, which are about 5,000 periodic articles and 40 books in her lifetime, wrote, uh, some of which are translated to 140 languages, one, are one of the most translated literature and vital importance to Seventh-day Adventists, whom, which I belong with. There was a currently no system to take questions and present codes, articles, chapters, sections as answers. A system was built to cater to this opportunity gap. So the problem was the project took this opportunity to answer, to make a system that will answer uh, questions. The existing interfaces of apps, applications for accessing EG White writings, uh, LNG White is, uh, is in the egwhitewritings.org first, and there's also an, an Android app, the first version, and Android app, the second version. There's also for iPhone and, I, and the iPad, uh, EG White writings. There's also the CD and DVD, and there's also other people who made, some of my friends who made the unofficial EG White writings up for Symbian phones, for Nokia phones before. But all of these existing options have a keyword search for some functionality, simple search, and uh, there's also an EG White topical index. Some of them have very, very helpful in presenting an, an outline to any topic. And there was a need to develop an interface to answer questions. Typing a question into a search function of the, any of the systems above or existing did not yield the best answers. The writer is an avid, I'm an avid reser, uh, reader of LNG White writings and the EG White estate has expressed support for this attempt. The users have difficulty recalling exact words to find in EG White writings, so they are not very productive with the key, keyword search. More so, many Seventh-day Adventists who have real questions have them because they are not familiar with the writings. This project takes the opportunity to fill that gap for the system which tries to match the questions in the queries and the relevant uh, LNG White writing paragraphs. So this is the example of the EG White writings website. If you type the question, is Sabbath cooking prohibited? The answer will just go to Isaiah 1, chapter 1, chapter 1 verse 1, because it thinks that IS is the shortcut for Isaiah, which is actually correct, but that's not the best answer. A second is if you type the same question in the Android app and you click search, it will say zero results, zero hits. So while the source code of this publicly accessible uh, is not public for the existing systems, it's apparent that they have not been decided to deal with the question of question and format queries. They have been decided for an index where the what you type is a keyword. So originally, uh, how about the existing data? What data do we have to make the system? Ijuet writings are in books, pamphlets, and letters since the 1800s, <coughs> and articles in magazines. They have been digitized over the years and are free av available through the website, the, the apps in the cell phone, and DVD and CD-ROM format. There's a pattern of the existing data which is easy to be parsed and input to a proposed system. That's what I did. Data that may be relevant to prove existence and series of identified problem. And I did an experiment uh, some time ago in YouTube, which shows that people type questions they have instead of typing keywords. So if you make a system that has, in, in that experiment, when the, the, the videos that had question format titles had double the amount of views as the ones that have keywords or uh, uh, regular titles. <coughs> the <coughs> Currently, the best way to find EG White codes is through Google. However, if you type in Google, some non-EG White material can also appear if you ask a question. Another, the, another very nice way is to use the LNG White Comprehensive Index, but after you have to find the correct word, since it's really a lot, you have to scroll and since it's just an index, there's an entry and there's a reference. You have to click the reference and then you have to look for the exact 
paragraph in that page. It takes some time. But it's a very good resource. Both the topical index and the full text are very important for this new proposed, uh, uh, this new system that we made. So we want to combine the full text, the topical index, and also some questions that are relevant to people who have religious questions, which openbible.info allows people to download. Then we can get the idea of the like and the vote in Facebook and then openbible.info so that those paragraphs for this question, for these paragraphs that have more likes or votes will be up, will have higher ranking in the search. So this is the theoretical framework. <clears throat> the EGY system, we have the seed questions coming from openbible.info. We have the EGY topical index, very high quality index. We have the EGY full text, and then we have the questions of the users, and then we have the user feedback, the likes and the votes. And you all combine that in this system and so that we can have uh, high quality answer, very quick uh, answers. So it will li be like a Google, except that it's, it has ranking and it has paragraphs and the summaries and votes. It will get all of those ideas and put them in together. So these are the ideas that we are going to be used. We have the idea of the index. Index is like you scan the whole uh, book and then, or books or encyclopedia, and then you put all the page number or paragraph number for each word and you have a big, big, big database which you can just jump very quickly. We also have the ranking, like how Google does it. For each result, there is a point system and the higher points come up in the, first, in the search results. That's a very popular algorithm in computer science. And we also have machine learning, the idea of machine learning where the system becomes more intelligent as the user uh, uses it or as, it, as experiences with the user are put into the database. You can, it's just very simple actually, it's just the likes and the feedbacks, the input, the, the system will just learn from the user and the more users, the more intelligent it becomes, the, the system becomes. We also have the idea of the fallback if there's no, if the, if the, if this is, it's like there are so many, there are a group of search engines if there's no result for this, no result for this, it will just go back to the plain search, keyword search. So there will always, there's supposed to be always an answer. If a higher quality answer is available, a lower quality answer will be given. So we have the, the, the methodology or the, the design system cycle that we are going to use the spiral model because the search engine is supposed to be made to work and then improve and improve and improve and improve that, that cycle. So the idea is to make the, the it may give the users e easy to help the users find the answers easily by combining all of these uh, databases and plus the feedback and plus tweaking of the algorithms to give a better result. The technologies that, are, that were used is Postgres for the database because I, this is what I know and this is free and this is mature. We, have, we use the PHP scripting language of, of so JavaScript in the front end and the Linux operating systems, the operating system because there are plenty of utilities that I need to do to use there, but I develop it in, plain in uh, initially in Windows. But the main system is in Linux because I need some things that are easily accessible in Linux. Memcache can be used to speed up the queries that are popular and the recent queries because uh, it is also a free, but it's a cache for something that can be done. It's, it's very nice. But I haven't implemented that because it's, it's still fast enough, the index is still fast enough. <clears throat> so the EGY writings, we, I re-index it from text to the database. And then the topical index, we parsed the whole thing. This was made in 1962. It used to be not free, but now I think it's uh, all of the EGY writings are now uh, free. Questions from openbible.info, this is, they let the people download all the information from openbible.info. And then the algorithm will be tested and retested and fine-tuned in. So this is the search engine idea. The full text plus the topical index will be parsed, and then it will be put in the databases. The index, I actually have two or three or five versions of the index. But I'm currently, the, the current iteration is we're using the 
fourth version of the index. And then we have the question, and then the question will be put, and so we, the engine will sort the answers by popularity and by votes and by point systems, and we'll show the answers. So this is the, the simplified uh, data model. We have the EGY writings, we have the questions, with the answers, and then we have the indexes. <clears throat> so we ingest all of the EGY writings, which are from the DVD and the CD-ROM, provided freely by EGY State as a gift to me. And you get the topical index, which also comes from the CD-ROM and DVD. And then we will grow the answers as more people ask questions and vote. We will record all their votes and all their questions and uh, show them the answers in the next uh, queries. And then we can compute the relevance of the, of, the, uh, of the paragraphs by using the topical index entry and mentions of the word and popularity by phrase and by user votes. And also we want to prioritize the shorter paragraphs because they are easier to read. So the idea is that people have religious questions and uh, people don't know exactly uh, what are they going to ask and uh, we will use that. These are the review of existing, we have the website, we have the another kind of database, text database, we have the Android and iOS apps. Okay, and we have the, that's just a review of related literature. We have, we took into consideration the popular Google page rank paper from Stanford and the idea of the open Bible that info is very helpful to this project. And uh, so there are two assessment uh, alternatives for this project. First is, are the EG White search engines with topical search, but there's no question and answer database. For example, is the website Android iOS app CD. So this uh, search engine can search by topic, but there's no question and answer. The other group is the Q&A database, but there's no focus on EG White writings. Example is Google and openbible.info. Open I, want I wanted to combine this. In this project, we combine these ideas. So how did we do it? I, I used to parse LNG White writings previous to this making this project, but I hadn't parsed the, the topical index. So I parsed also the topical index, and then I got the questions from openbible.info. I found out there are many questions that already have answers in, the, in this uh, combination. It's very interesting. The above were already done. I did it many times, the index, because of the calculations and the architecture and the balancing of the index to optimize the speed. And how did I try it? I sent this uh, project, the URL, to many of my friends about 50 people and 10 groups and they got all their answers many of them are in the abroad in the, from IAS and from AUP my the school where I work currently so <clears throat> how do we know if it's successful if it's working I asked some questions in the questionnaire presented in the paper you can read it there uh, okay so if basically if they are happy with it it's uh, then a higher percent of people who think the system is better at answering questions means that the system is successful, okay. And it will be continued, continuously be monitored and uh, evaluated because that's the life cycle of a search engine, just improving and improving and improving. And then, so I want to go I, I also looked at the, I have, I have a log of all the things that they search, and then I try to see what are the results of what they are searching, if there's a better way. There are many kinds of logs that I can check, and if I ask, also ask them if, uh, if they are happy with what they see, okay? and I only use simple statistics. So these are the results and discussions. Uh, I was amazed that PG White Writings in the index has about 25 million words, about 250,000 paragraphs, which we indexed, I indexed. Uh, the distinct words are 37,843 distinct words. The topic index has about 13, it's, it's four volumes. This is four volume book. The EGY Comprehensive Topical Index is, has about 
13,668 lines. We parse that and reorganize it. <coughs> and then, uh, or the, this is just the topics, 13,668 topics, and it has, it has subtopics, etc. So the, the total lines are 284,000 topical lines. Re we reorganize it to like a flat file, flat database to make it. And it's 284,000 lines. Very, very rich uh, index. And the seed questions, plenty of questions. There are 5,684 questions. I think what there are answers already in the EGY ratings without any modification is about 1,300 questions already have answers. So there's still a lot to be done, but there's already a lot that's already there that have answers already. And uh, currently, the major revisions of the algorithm has been uh, five times already. It's also uh, most queries finish in less than one second. Of course, this is after five revisions of the algorithm. Some queries take about eight seconds, depending on what you're asking. And the indexing, this is, it took a lot of work for the computer. It takes, uh, parsing takes 25 minutes to six hours, depending on which, uh, <coughs> which uh, phase of the parsing and the uh, re-indexing you are trying to do. But I think if you, if you did the whole thing from, from text to all the indexes, to, it will take more than 12 hours. hours. So the machine I used, this laptop I'm using is an i7 third generation in 2.4 gear, 7, 8 gigabyte RAM. And I also tried it in the server, the, doing everything. It's almost the same performance. I'm, I don't know why. Maybe it's because of PHP engine or maybe because of the Linux uh, bug uh, kernel uh, bug security thing. <coughs> The algorithm was changed about five times. The first algorithm, I just parsed it. I removed stop words, just made it to work, and I did a plain index was just very, very big and very, very slower, slower after it. The table was very, very big because the data is really a lot. So the database, uh, it was like an index with 25 million rows. Uh, version two, I separated the database for the index because I separated the words each word has its own table. And then I separated the writings and the other the index. So it was great, easier to recreate the index. Very great speed improvement. <coughs> topical index version three, I, I par parsed the topical index and put it in a different database. I have now three databases which are used, which have an index for every word. And I stopped computing for the word instances because there are better results if I don't count the word instances per paragraph. Uh, version four, I stored aggregate results instead of the computed instead of computed them on the fly because I can actually do computation before the query. Version five, I did optimization with Facebook sharing. Facebook sharing will put a, a specific uh, picture and a specific uh, description. Customized meta image and meta description. So this is the user interface. Very clean, like Google. Very easy to understand. There's a search and there's a listen if you want to dictate what you're going to say. And this is the result of the user interface. The topical index results comes from the top. That's every line. And you see there are likes. You can press like. And then uh, the user, in the paragraph we have the user suggested results, which have also are sorted depending on how many likes. And then we have the paragraph index that comes first. So it's like uh, many databases being, being queried all at the same time to give, and then they all, will all come in the user interface. The JavaScript will fetch all of them in the user interface. This is what I was telling the Facebook customized image and description. If you type a query and you paste it in Facebook, the search results, search results will have a a uh, customized uh, logo and a customized description. So it will be easier to promote. And uh, for my survey, I gave to five, at least five groups and at least 50 individuals who probably like to read Ellen G. White writings also. And there's very few people who answered, but for the evaluation of the user interface, at least five is okay, according to the document. So, uh, 50% of the people use, this, this is before they use the database. 50 people, 50% 50 use the, the database, use EGY writings in the phone or somewhere else. 
and uh, they spent about uh, these are the, the percent of minutes how many minutes they spent uh, finding something 37 around 30 minutes most of the people majority of the people took about 30 minutes to find something in Ellen G. White writings so when when I asked them to use the new search engine, they said 75% from 37%, it became, from thir most people, 37.5% took thir 30 minutes. And when they used the new system, 75% took less than a minute to search what they're looking for. So it's a great improvement. <coughs> I'm very happy with the results. So 87% said the answers are sufficient. And then, uh, how many minutes to finish all the questions? Some people are very fast. <laughs> and most people took about two minutes to answer all the five questions which I asked them. That means uh, either they didn't understand the question or they were very quick to do it. How many seconds to type a question? You see how some people take 60 seconds to type a question. <clears throat> they are slow typers. And then how many minutes to spend scrolling through results? One or two, and then they find, they stop scrolling through the results, like page up, page down, or scroll. How many minutes, okay, it's the same thing. How many pages of results were browsed? Two pages, probably they already found what they're looking for. Some people did 10 pages. So did they find any errors? Nobody found any errors in the user interface or in the program. Okay, I think uh, the Lord helped us to simplify the idea in, the, in our mind before we implemented it because it's, it's, if it's simple, it's easier to troubleshoot, easier to improve. <clears throat> Comments and questions, they want it to an, have a bigger scope, but actually I have another project in Google. It's a customized Google search engine that uh, does that already. But this one, I want it to be specifically for LNG White writings only. This is the best result I've, I've seen. Do you find the best answers within one click? And 87.5% said yes. Are the answers easier to find here compared to the existing EG White mobile app and CD and website? 87.5% said yes. So <clears throat> the conclusion is that the objectives of the study were met and the author is very happy. I'm very happy with it. And the indexing of the EG White Tiles topical index and combining speeds from open Bible, seeds from Open Bible Info into the algorithm and database architecture have been a great experience for me. I am very happy. The users are very happy and we thank God and praise the Lord for the miracles, especially in uh, thinking of the algorithm. It's, uh, God helped me a lot in the miracles of this project. So the recommendations, I recommend that more users use the system so that it will become more intelligent, more feedback will make it more intelligent. EG White State should consider using these algorithms or the ideas here to improve their search engine, desktop apps, and mobile apps. And uh, for the system, we can use Memcache if the, if the database becomes the bottleneck. Now it's not yet the bottleneck, that's why we're not still we're just ready to use it, but we haven't implemented. These are the references I had. I look at GWT writings, Open Bible, and Google. And this is my schedule, my supposed to be budget, but Adventist University of the Philippines helped me with their hosting. I finished computer science. I like Ellen GWT writings. And we also thank uh, Pastor Edgar Bryan Tolentino, the GWT State Associate Director, who helped with the uh, quality of the answers and will still continue to help. And they gave me a free complimentary EG White Writings DVD. Now let's go to the demo. Thank you so much. So this is the demo. Uh, this is the U current URL. This URL is visible outside. You can translate it to Arabic. If Google can see it, it means it can be translated. See. Okay, this is the. There are two ways of using this. For example, you can ask, is God unfair? And then it will load the topics, it will also load the paragraphs. 
and then if you like one uh, a paragraph you can just click this one it will say thank you and the next time we reload it it will say that these are the the thing that we last like it will come out before the others like this one so uh, that is it if we ask uh, another question is Sabbath cooking a scene and then we ask that question and then uh, we did not find good answers we can open another search tab this is like the contributor mode and we can search using keyword search and then we can copy this one the reference and then we can suggest it here and submit it thank you so the next time we search this question it will show this recommended read one like so uh, the more users use it the more intelligent it becomes so that is uh, the simple simple use of this as you see there are this amount of results this amount of results and that's it it has been simplified and easy to understand so that it will be easy to maintain easy to use etc thank you for okay there's another demo in the facebook for example if we go to facebook linter and then we put here is god unfair for this question if you want to share this this uh, these results and just wait a little bit as you see there's a customized description and if we try again and wait long enough there's a customized picture that we can share most websites uh, don't have a customized picture so whatever the query is facebook can give the query on top and uh, it will be easy to share so that's uh, what uh, that's how simple this thing is thank you so much